Hello everyone, my name is Gerard Jones and I'm a student at Sheffield Hallam University. Here I'm presenting our position paper, which is looking at the uh, use of augmented information, a feedback through transitional means to guide the attentional search of athletes and footballers. We know that in football and in coaching in general, feedback is a dominant coaching behaviour and is typically delivered either concurrently, i.e. during a, a movement, or afterwards, terminally. And often within this feedback, coaches will tend to prescribe uh, the solution and dictate to the athlete where to look and how to move. And this is often based on a technical model that's shaped by the coach without tapping into the perception or the solutions of the athlete. What we're proposing here with our transitional learning model is an alternative approach to using augmented information. And that is to guide the search of the athlete to become more skilled at looking for information within the environment to create their own adaptable movement solutions. And the beauty with transitional information is that it can be delivered concurrently or terminally. But the skill of the coach is not to prescribe the solution, but instead provide opportunities and clues for the athlete to search for information from the environment. Now, this is based on the three core principles. The first principle being to search for information from the environment, discover, and latterly exploit. These three principles exist within every use of using transition information, where the coaches uh, priming the athlete to attune to affordances, searching for information from the environment and discovering key information sources that they need to use to create a movement solution. And then obviously exploiting the time and space. And this is based on um, constraints led approach, Newell's work and even Gibson's work around perception action coupling, because we know that uh, perception and action is coupled we move in order to perceive and we perceive in order to move. And how coaches manipulate constraints within the practice to guide the attentional search of the athlete, of the footballer, is really key here. And of course, there's three core strands within each of these, and that is that everything we do is individual focused, it's relevant and understood by the athlete, and it taps into the perception of the athlete. And here you can see a clearer model where we're explaining the whole process and that is that in that initial stage coaches are using questions are setting challenges for the athlete to search for information from the environment and of course the important thing information here is that we're allowing the athlete enough time to experiment and interact with the environment in order to discover the key information they need in order to exploit time and space